Hi, and welcome to another how-to video on Dot Active Free. This video covers how to use the space planning tools once data is imported into a shelf plan. To attract customers to appealing shelves, we must edit the gondola to make it look like the physical gondola itself. As we have become more familiar with the data tabs at the very top of the display, you will realize that there are many icons to make use of. In today's video, we are going to be further exploring some of these icons. This is a planogram that I have placed products onto. As you can see, it is not very appealing. Let's begin to correct it. But first, to navigate around the gondola, we right-click and drag. Be cautious as you may lose the gondola. In the case that you do, press the F button on your keyboard and the gondola centers itself. If you would like to zoom into a shelf or product, click on it to highlight it, hold in your control key and press F at the same time. To zoom back to normal, press F again. Please note that the following limitations are in place with Dot Active Free. Max number of FLPs open at a time, 2. Max number of products in a plano, 40. Max number of products imported, 40. Max number of segments on gondola, 1. Max gondola height, 180 centimeters. Max gondola width, 91 centimeters. Max gondola depth, 45 centimeters. If you would like to remove these limitations, you would need to upgrade your plan. Let's add a shelf to the plan. The very top icon on the left says Shelf. Click on it and click anywhere on the space plan. Your shelf will appear. If you would like to change the fixtures of the shelf, double click on it for the properties page to open. Make sure that the shelf is the same width as the gondola segments. Alternatively, right click on the shelf and fit to segments depth, width or both. Another way to add shelves is to click on an existing shelf in the Add Remove section here. We have red arrows pointing in every direction. Click down or side or up. To reposition the shelves, click on it, drag and drop. If you would like to add a facing onto a single SKU, use the Add Remove arrows or do it by holding in the control key and pressing the side arrow on your keyboard. The easiest method is to use the number pad on your keyboard. Select two and appears two facings. Pressing zero, a pop-up allows you to type in the number of facing you would like to see. Generally, anything over nine. If you would like to fill the shelf and do not want to guess the amount of facings, right-click on the shelf and select Fill Shelf. At this point, I can see that my shelf space will not allow me to add one more facing of this product. I would like to have the same product on a different shelf and even change its orientation. Click on the product, hold in your control key and move it to where you would like it to be positioned. If this product is best merchandised laying down, change the orientation by using these four icons in the orientation section. The Shelf and Renumber section. These functions are used at the end of merchandising. Within Shelf, the very top icon aligns the products to the top of a gondola. Select the top shelf, click the icon. Now select all the shelves by clicking and dragging to highlight. Click on the option below the top alignment. This aligns the shelves vertically, evenly. These functions are best used one drop at a time. Next, each of the shelves needs to be renumbered, either up or down. You can see we have many functions when right-clicking on a highlighted shelf. The display labels works on products. It shows the shelf name or the description of the product and where you would like to display the label, and how you would like to position your products on the shelf. It is much easier to work while everything is packed to the left, although once complete, pack evenly facings is the most appealing option. You could explore with the rest and find what suits you. If you would like to identify a brand or range of products, I could make use of the highlight function that we have available under the view section under tools. Here I will be showing you a basic highlight by brand. First would be to navigate to Brand in your Highlights by section. 
Then double click on it. Click OK. This will then show you all brands in their own respective colour. Banners Obstructions In the Tools tab right next to the shelf icon, we have the Banner option. Click on the banner and click anywhere in the planogram. This is a banner with the default properties. If you would like to make the banner a particular size, change it in the properties by double clicking on it. Or click on the drop down arrow next to the word banner and drag for size. We do the same with an obstruction. The only difference is a banner can be moved around anywhere on the planogram and an obstruction snaps straight into the space plan. To change some of these properties on either the banner or the obstruction, double click on it. Here is the general renaming as well as dimensions. You can even change the colour of the banner. The properties for all other fixtures, such as the shelves, work the same as the above. Lastly, we look at the mirror function. It can be found under the Tools ribbon and under the Mirror section. This enables the user to mirror the planogram if they would require to do so. How to update an existing planogram If you would like to update any sales data, we can do so by doing the following. Go back to the Data tab, click on Select and then navigate to Excel to Shelf Plan. Once done, a mapping window will open where you have the option to edit before importing the new data into a planogram. As a default, all required fields will already be selected for you. You will now also notice on the taskbar that the data has been added to the planogram. Thanks for watching.